What's up? <clears throat> this video is going to be about Tay Diggs, the actor, African American actor, who said the white people at his gym are dirty. And he's in a pretty exclusive area and whatnot. Um, this has been said many times before. I mean, there's differences within cultures. I'm not saying but the different cultures don't have, you know, dirt, but white people do have a reputation in some ways or not as being considered as clean in some aspects. And that's not something that that is unheard of. And I think that he was in a situation where um, he couldn't tolerate. He didn't like it. And he was in a, and, and I can understand where he's coming from. He's an exclusive situation because he's not in the, um, you know, he's he can afford to be in certain places. And so it's a standard situation. See, because, um, you know, sometimes if you're black and you go into the other side of the of the of the spectrum of the, of the corner, there's this myth mythology that oh, well now you're an exclusive, for so now you're seeing it for sights, and you get this illusion that it's going to be like purified, like sparkling, crystal clear, and then all you get is funk and debase and decay. So, I mean, I ain't even tripping about what he said. And before people come at him about him being or was married to a white woman, or his who he's with, that has no relevance because his uniform is still black. Okay, you can Frederick Douglass was married to a white woman, and he still was a black man who was still a slave, <clears throat> had to find himself. And I'm not comparing, not trying to compare T. D. to Frederick Douglass, but you still got your uniform. You still dealing with being a black man, no matter what. Or if you're a black woman with a white guy. And you still got to deal with the plantation slave mindset. That don't change nothing. You don't get a crossover pass. And you don't get, oh, you marry somebody white, so we're going to give you $20,000. It's not how it works. Actually, you bring more heat on yourself because you're going to have black folks that's going to hate on you. But you're going to have white folks that's going to look at you. And you still don't get profiled. So what will they do to Tay Diggs? Will it be a surviving Tay Diggs? Will they, well, he really hasn't been <clears throat> that much of a main feature for what looked like he was going to be Tay Portier or Young Sidney Portier type of, like if you see the best man or remember where he was. But he's had a good career. I mean, he's done theater and stuff. I don't pay a lot of uh, situations, a lot of service. I don't have no problem with what he said. I mean, I've been in so-called suburban places, and I'm here to tell you, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't exclusive. It ain't what you, it's not like it's, you know, they like to, uh, there are some cold words, and I'm not going to say all, but there's some white people that use cold words that are racist, and they'll say, oh, that's ghetto, or that's that. But they do certain things that you see amongst, and it's like, oh, how are you going to call the pot kettle black when you're, you know, it's not what it's not as prim and proper and what have you. So I think he's in an exclusive area, and he's seen some stuff that got to him. Now, I ain't got no problem with it. And it's not like they're going to, what they're going to do, cut his career off. I mean, he's doing whatever he does. He does theater. He does play or the TV. He can do film. He's he he's a made man. I mean, Stella got your groove back. I mean, we're talking almost 30 year career in acting. Best man, the wood. I mean, come on. Tay had a little run. I ain't the biggest Tay Diggs fan because I thought he was kind of like a cornball brother in some instances. And I'm not talking about, I'm not getting into about his personal. I'm just talking about the vibe, but what he said here, <clears throat> I, I ain't going to sit there and act like I ain't heard it been said before, and I'm not going to sit here and say that there isn't a difference that I noticed, because um, we grew up, black folk grew up a certain way, you know, you remember, you grew up a certain way, you learn your ABCs, you learn your numbers, and you learn how to wash your hands with soap and water, I'm just saying, okay, <laughs> I ain't have to like be told simple things, but Anyway, I'm not tripping about what Tay Diggs said at all. He's a he's a he's a black man who can say what he want to say, and it's something to encounter. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not even tripping, and it doesn't change. It, it it's not no one way or the other because he still has his uniform. Let's remember that you still have your uniform, no matter who you with. That uniform don't change. Tay's still a brother, you know. My it ain't got nothing to do with who he with. Issues with him is how he goes about certain things, but hey, I can't say he ain't coming 100 with this one because, you know. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about Tay Diggs saying that white people aren't the cleanest people. And are you offended? 
Or is it no biggie? And do you think it's going to be a surviving Tay Diggs? Or do you think that it's going to roll off and people are just going to say, whatever? Let's be real. Talk real to me on this one. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clearer. Watch out for one another. I'm out. Peace.